Well, <laughs> I didn't build the house, but you know they're they're a terrific team, and um, you know at this stage of the season we've developed a style that we believe in, and you know you're dealing with two superstar players, and it's like Russian roulette out there. So, you know McConnell did a really good job contesting Irving's last shot. Fortunately, Luca didn't get the ball, um, and we lived to fight another day. So it was, uh, it was a great ending. Our guys really worked hard for it. Staying on that theme, I guess, obviously, every single time they made a run, you guys were able to sort of answer. Um, you know, obviously, there's a lot of times where it seemed like, obviously, the crowd was getting in and everything. Just what impressed about how many times you guys answered, you know, when they were there. Yeah, I mean, the NBA game is, is a game of runs, and, <clears throat> and you know, when you're – you know, building a culture and, and building a young team, you know, you, you want to have these kinds of experiences where, you know, you have to come into a huddle and, and regroup and say, hey, this is what it's about, you know. <laughs> we got we to regroup. We got to concentrate on loose balls, rebounds, and not fouling, and here's the play we're going to run, and we're going to go right back at them. And, uh, you know, really, we, we can't get enough of this right now. This is something that we really need. Um, developing for the future. And um, I was proud of the way our guys played. Talk about Halliburton. Uh, he's had an all-star season this year. Like yeah, I mean, look, there's three all-stars in that game tonight. You know, Luca Kyrie and Tyrese. And uh, Tyrese has, you know, he's carried a big load for us um, all year long. Um, the 32 points tonight, we needed every single one of them. It was tough. It was it was a grind. I mean, they were physical with him. Um, he hit the floor a few times. Um, it wasn't easy, but um, he had a really terrific third quarter. And uh, you know, the three at the end of the third quarter was similar to the one the other night in Orlando that got us back up to an eight-point lead. It was almost the identical situation, and that that gave us some momentum into the fourth. We're talking about the confidence a win like this gives your team. You guys have won two straight now, three of the last four. You guys are playing well toward the end of the season. I don't think confidence is an issue for our team. You know, it's just we've we've got to be very focused on details. Um, when we weren't tonight, you know, we weren't getting rebounds. Uh, we were missing blockouts. We were not getting loose balls. Um, we were missing minute assignments that were leading to problems. And so, you know, that's, that's a lot of what it's about. Um, I do think a win like this does, does give you additional co confidence. But we're looking to learn from everything. And a, and a win doesn't mean you played a perfect game. It means, you know, that the final result was in your favor. But we've got to honestly study everything that went on. Um, and there's a lot of things we can do better. You guys head of the line 40 times tonight. 31 out of 40. Obviously, it was a little bit... Tight the way the team was called. I mean, were you impressed, I guess, just how guys didn't get too frustrated about what they were being called for and instead kind of took advantage of the fact that they were going to get opportunities to go to the line if they were physical themselves? Well, getting to the line helps your defense. And, uh, you know, we missed some free throws, but, you know, that's, I think, kind of an, going to be kind of an anomaly for us because we shoot them pretty well. Um, we've got to keep this kind of mindset. You know, we've got to have the floor space the right way. We, we have to have an attacking approach with whatever we're doing. So um, I liked it. You know, been there a lot tonight. Um, you know, we had other guys that got there too. And, and uh, in today's game, if you're not getting to the free throw line um, and getting opportunities to score with, us, with the clock stopped and set your defense, you know, you're, you're going to be behind the curve. Back-to-back -back really good performances from Jalen and from Jordan uh, off the bench. Uh, what do you like about what you're getting from each of those two guys, how Jordan is kind of, you know, kind of blending his way into this team and, and Jalen, you know, getting a couple opportunities when it's been tough to come by for those backup fives. Just what stood out to you for each of those two? Yeah, J Jalen's just been exemplary over the last month, you know, since his playing time really diminished. He stayed professional. He has kept a great attitude and approach. Um, he's worked extremely hard. Um, he's encouraged his teammates the entire time. And he knew that his time was going to come again. And uh, so he was terrific in Orlando. 
Um, I think once I look at the film tonight, I mean, I think it'll be more of the same. And and Noir is, Noir is a, you know, he's a he's a skilled player, and you know, positionally he does a better job defensively than a lot of people might think. And so uh, he had, he had timely shots throughout the game. You know, none none had huge volume, but you know he hit big ones and. Uh, you know, he just he played a solid game for us, and he's he's getting better and better with us. You threw him on Luca a couple times. Just how much does it help to have a guy with that kind of body type? Obviously, when when Luca's big and sort of tries to bully people, obviously Jordan. Has yeah. That he's not getting back down. Yeah, I mean, Luca Doncic is almost impossible to guard because of the size and skill, and you know what he does around the basket and his strength. And um, so, you know, it was going to be Aaron to start. Um, we were hoping to keep Aaron reasonably out of foul trouble, but Jordan was the second guy, and I don't know that we went to the third guy very often. That you know Tyrese ended up on him in switches a few times. Then we did, you know, Ron made a really good adjustment, and we and we started showing on those small small screens, and that kept Tyrese off of him, which which really helped us. And so, uh, you know, game like this, it's uh, like I said, it's down the stretch, it's. You know, it's it's Russian roulette. It's 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 some difficult stuff, and uh, you know we survived it. And we but we did some good things to, you know, get Lady Luck in our favor. Greg, it might be too early in the season to ask this question, but a little bit reflective. You mentioned this young team not lacking in confidence. How have they stretched you as a coach this season? Well, you know this team um, has, and I'm really fortunate this year. I just got one of the most outstanding staffs that I've ever had. I've had a lot of great ones. You know, I had great staffs in Dallas. This one this year um, with Lloyd Pierce, Ron Norad, Mike Weiner, Jenny Busick has just been very, very special. Um, you know, I've, I've, really, I've really leaned on them and given them a lot of responsibility, uh, given them all, uh, you know, a significant voice. Um, and I, I always want to hire people that I can learn from. And I've learned things from this staff, and I've learned things from our team. You know, um, I mean, Tyrese Halliburton has taken advantage of an amazing opportunity here with the Pacers, and you know he has the keys. You know, on the floor, um, he's the guy calling the plays. He's the guy orchestrating. And and I learned from great point guards. I learned a lot from Jason Kidd when I coached and he was playing here. Uh, I learned from Luca. And uh, and Berea, you know, and and Devin Harris when he he played some force at the point position. Uh, Tyrese Halliburton is the same same kind of guy. So um, had a had a tremendous experience this year. Um, great or, another great organization. So I'm very very blessed. All good. Thanks, everybody. Good to see you, Rick. Good to see you.